hello 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 queens i'm back at y'all with another client tutorial and before we step into this video i want to say thank y'all so much for getting me to 100k subscribers we're gonna call this client look my celebration look because that's what it's given and we're jumping straight into the video i'm starting this tutorial off by cleaning my client's face and to do so i'm using some witch hazel on a cotton pad Now that her face is clean, I'm going to go ahead and start on her eyebrows. And to fill them in, I'm using my Nika K Brow Pencil, and this one is in the shade Black Brown. When I'm doing eyebrows, I like to make sure I outline both brows before I begin to fill them in just to make sure they're as even as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly outline this side. Now that both sides have been outlined, I'm going to start filling them in from the back and working my way to the front. To fill in the front of her brows, I'm going in with another Nika K eyebrow pencil. This one is in the shade light brown. And I like to do little hair-like strokes going upwards and then I brush it through with the spoolie just to make sure everything is blended. Now I'm just going in with my INV Clear Eyelash Glue and I'm brushing this throughout her brows so I can get the hairs molded down in place. As you can see, I'm taking my spoolies to really press them down. Once you're finished molding down the hairs, the brows should look something like this. And now we're just about to clean them up. I'm using my two Nika K concealers. First, I'm going in with the shade 03, and I'm using this to clean up underneath her arch. Once I've created a clean line underneath the arch, I'm just going to drag that concealer down and then I'm going to blend it out using this dense eyeshadow brush. Now for the remainder of the way on the top and the bottom of her eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with the Nika K Concealer in the shade 07. I feel like the eyebrows are a very tedious step and a very tedious process to make up. You want to make sure you get them as clean as possible. So as you're going to see once I'm finished blending out this concealer, I did go back in and sharpen up my line. Y'all probably didn't even notice a flaw, but I just love for them to be nice and precise. And now I'm going to clean up the top. Whenever you're doing a client with baby hairs, just try to make sure you're careful. Get a small detail brush if needed. You want to avoid trying to get any makeup onto those baby hairs. Keep everything neat and clean.
now that both brows have been cleaned up I'm gonna be going in with my derma blend translucent powder and I'm just gonna be pressing this throughout her brows to lighten them up I mainly like to focus it at the front so it can have a nice gradient fade into the back and I also like to press a little bit on the concealer to set around the eyebrows And as y'all can see, we have two nice looking brows, if I do say so myself. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It's in the shade white. And I'm just using this as an eyeshadow base. So as you can see, I'm pressing it throughout her lids. For today's eyeshadow look, I'm going to be going in with my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette and I didn't show y'all the individual shades but I will be naming them off throughout the video and putting them in the description box as well. So first I'm going in with the shade Wasted and this is a true purple shade y'all. It's a true purple shade and I'm using this as my transition. As you can see, I'm just patting this color on the outer edge of my client's eye using this blending brush. And I want to start to bring it in towards the front of her eyebrows, but I don't take it all the way at the front. And then for my next shade, I'm going to be going in with this dark purple color, which is actually from my Morphe 35B palette. This was the only shade that I didn't use from the Be Perfect palette, but it's the darkest purple that's in the Morphe 35B palette. And I just applied it to her crease, and now I'm going back in with that blending brush that I use and I'm using it to blend it into the first purple shade that we use. I used a lot of different eyeshadows for this look which is why I decided not to include them all in the video just to save some time but as I said earlier they will be in the description box and named throughout the video. So now I'm taking this pink shade from the Be Perfect Carnival XL palette and it's in the shade In Lust. For anybody that's still wondering what these actual colors look like in the pan you can always look up a picture on safari and it'll have the shade names in it as well so just in case you don't have this palette you can try to find a similar color make sure that you apply each transition shade at the front of your client's eyelids just to ensure that you will still be able to see the colors once you've cut the crease and to cut her crease i'm going to be going back in with my elf camo concealer in the shade white and i'm just carving it out this most definitely is a tedious step to make up this is why I barely like to do these on camera because I really love to be like right in my client's face when I do this because I'm kind of a perfectionist with this step but I'm just gonna let y'all watch Once I've created an even round cut crease on both sides, I'm just going to start pressing that concealer out using this dense eyeshadow brush. 
make sure both sides are even before you move on and once you blend it all out it should look something like this now i'm just going in with the shade y though which is like a mint green color and i applied it to the inner corner of her lid and i ended up sticking the shade keen on top of it which is like this bright yellow shade and it made this nice lime green color so i applied y though first and then i put keen on top of it before I started filming this look, I had a vision in my head of how I wanted it to look. So to achieve that vision, I had to mix a few shades together, which is why I mixed Y though and Keen and got that lime green shade. Now I'm just adding a little bit more of that yellow shade because I wanted it to peek through in the inner corner. And then next I'm going in with the shade Showboat, which is like this baby blue kind of turquoise color. And I'm just blending this behind that first combination that we used. Now I'm going back in with that purple shade, which was in the color Wasted, and I'm using this to close up her cut crease. To fill in the gap, I'm going in with this orange shade from the palette, and it's in the color Lit. As y'all can see, this is a crazy color scheme, and I wanted it to look like a tie-dye effect, which is why I decided to take different tones and yeah i'm just loving it to blend out the edge of the orange and the purple i went in with the shade in lust which was like that pink shade We're finished with the cut crease for now, so I'm taking my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner and I'm just going to use this to draw a straight line on her eyes because as y'all saw in the beginning of the video, I am going to be doing a blown out wing and this is just how I like to do those. As y'all can see, my client has eyelash extensions, so I'm just really making sure I take my time with this liner. I don't want to mess up her lashes because they were so pretty, y'all. They had a touch of pink in them like went so well with this look next i'm going in with this black eyeshadow and i'm just taking it on this pencil brush and i'm using it to dry out my wing i like to sketch out the wing with the brush and then just connect it into the eyeliner Once I'm finished with the liner, I'm going in with this pigment from Ashley Lee Cosmetics and it's in the shade Silver Milky Way. If you watch any of my other videos, then you know this is my all-time favorite pigment. I like to use it as a topper on majority of my eyeshadows, so I'm just pressing it on top of her cut crease. And no, I did not go in with any adhesives. I just pressed the pigment right on top of the eyeshadows. I wanted her inner corners to sparkle a little bit more, so I decided to go in with this fine glitter this is from the brand is me new york you should be able to find it at your local beauty supply store and it's in the shade diamond i did use an adhesive for the glitter but not for the pigment i went ahead and cleaned up her eyeshadow off camera using some makeup remover now i'm just going in and doing the crystals so i'm taking this clear eyelash glue and i just made three small dots across her wing and i'm taking the crystals and applying them right on top of the dots Once I'm finished with the crystals, the eyeshadow is complete, so we're moving on to the face. I'm taking my Pond's Moisturizer, and I'm using this to moisturize her skin. I'm applying a generous amount onto her face, and then to blend it in, I'm going to be going in with my damp Real Technique sponge.
to prime her face i'm going in with my calamine lotion and i'm just going to be focusing this product in her t-zone and once i have it all applied i'm going to be going back in with my damp real technique sponge and i'm going to use it to press it into her skin For her foundation, I'm going in with these two Fit Me foundations in the shades Warm Coconut and Warm Sun. I mixed them together on my foundation palette and now I'm just applying the combination to her face. To blend out the foundation, I'm going to be going in with my dense foundation brush and just pressing it into her skin. To highlight her face, I'm going in with my Nika K Concealer in the shade 03 and I mixed it with a little bit of her foundation concoction. To blend out the concealer, I'm going in with the same brush that I used to blend out her foundation just so everything can be nice and seamless. To set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder and it's in the shade Pure Beige. I'm going on top of that Fit Me Press Powder with my Morphe Loose Powder and it's in the shade Banana.
to bronze up her face I'm going in with my black radiance contour palette and this is in the shade light to medium I'm just taking the sculpting shade and applying it everywhere that you would normally contour To set the remaining areas of her face, I'm going in with another Black Radiance Press Powder and I believe it's in the shade Honey Amber. Moving on to her under eyes, I'm lining her waterline using this LA Girl Eyeliner Pencil. I'm not sure of the shade name but it's like this electric blue and it is so pretty y'all and it's so pigmented as y'all can see. Next, I'm going in with this black eyeshadow and I'm just applying it to her lower lash line. Now that her under eyes are finished, I'm going back in with that foundation brush and I'm using it to press in all of the powder. I'm gonna go ahead and spray her face with some setting spray to lock all this lusciousness in place. And once that's finished, I'm just going to fan the spray out and then I'm gonna highlight her face. To highlight her face, I'm just taking one of these shimmer eyeshadows from my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette. I went ahead and cleaned her piercings and her beauty mark off camera. Fun fact about me y'all, I do not like covering beauty marks. I think they're beautiful. But now we're moving on to the lips. So I'm taking my J Cats lip liner pencil. This is in the shade dark brown. And I'm using this to outline her lips because we will be doing a nude ombre lip. For the center of her lips, I'm going in with this Zarura Liquid Lipstick in the shade number 39. And I applied this She Lip Gloss on top of it just to add a little sheen. Once I have her lips all blended out, I decided to go on top of them with this clear lip gloss from the beauty supply store just because I wanted her lips to look extra glossy, okay, okay. And once I'm finished applying the lip gloss, that'll be it for this look and we'll be getting into the grand reveal so I'm just gonna let y'all watch. Ready to see? <laughs> oh, this is cute. Mm -hmm. This is real cute. Yeah, I'm ready so. to go somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Okay queens, that is the end of this video. As y'all can tell by my client's reaction, this tutorial was another success. I think this look came out so bomb and I actually filmed this on New Year's so it was perfect for the occasion. I hope you all enjoyed. This is y'all daily reminder to follow me on Instagram because Instagram is always in the know. So make sure y'all click that link in the description box and follow me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for my next one. Bye bye queens.